My dear Reliance family, a very good evening to each one of you. Today is the Reliance family day. We have come together to celebrate the birthday of our founding chairman, Dhirubhai Ambani. With the passage of time, our family is becoming bigger and bigger. But we will always remain Dhirubhai's family. We will always cherish his timeless family values. And these are integrity, excellence, empathy, the spirit of cooperation and the commitment to make every tomorrow better than every today for one and all. These values are encapsulated in Reliance's We Care philosophy. We care for the planet and humanity. We care for our mother India and every single Indian. Friends and colleagues, for me, it has been my life's honor to lead Reliance for over two decades now. If leading Reliance is my pride, working with all of you has been my privilege. You are an army of immensely talented individuals who work wonders day in and day out with grit and discipline. I am proud of each and every one of you. You are my perpetual recharge battery. Each single day, you renew my enthusiasm, boost my energy, and validate the purpose for which our founder established Reliance. I am deeply grateful to each and every one of you for your contribution to Reliance. My dear Reliance family, today, the domestic and global environment for businesses are changing very fast. There is simply no room for complacency. Reliance was never complacent in the past and Reliance will never be complacent in the future. We are known for disrupting the market through constant innovation and reinvention. We have shown the courage to set the bar high and the ability to jump even higher to create new records. This is how Reliance has achieved perennial growth and that is how we will remain true to our motto, growth is life. Let us follow this winning formula with greater confidence and consistency. Dear friends, as India races ahead to become the world's third largest economy, an unprecedented opportunity awaits Reliance. Reliance can and Reliance will grow to be among the top 10 business conglomerates of the world. For this, we need to be laser focused on three things. One, we must always provide extreme value to our customers. We must unfailingly exceed their expectations through collaboration and systems improvement. Our efforts, unprecedented customer love for all our businesses over the years. In the coming years, we must continue to strive even harder to develop products and services that no one has created ever before. We must continue to delight the customers and reinforce their belief that Reliance provides immense value to their lives. Two, all our actions must always win community trust. Dhirubhai has taught us that continuously winning the trust of the communities that we operate in is an essential part of our business. Trust is that hard won intangible asset that transforms commerce into culture. Trust elevates a momentary business transaction to an enduring heart-to-heart -heart relationship. Through all our businesses, and through the rapidly expanding activities of Reliance Foundation, let us make Reliance the number one corporate on the parameter of customer love and community trust. Three, for enhancing customer love and community trust, we must continuously enrich competencies and capabilities at the individual level, the team level, and the business level and at the organizational level. Businesses grow exponentially when individuals and teams 
display clarity of goals and flawless execution. When all our businesses grow exponentially, we can contribute more to India's inclusive prosperity and make the world a better place. My dear friends, in three days from now, we will say goodbye to 2023 and usher in 2024. As the head of the Reliance family, I would like to share with all of you three more key messages for the new year. Let me summarize them as three consolidations. First, let us consolidate Reliance's place among global leaders in digital platforms, data and AI adoption. Second, let us consolidate Reliance's place among global leaders in talent enrichment. And third, let us consolidate Reliance's place among global leaders in institutional culture. Let me elaborate. First, about AI adoption. As Reliance reinvents itself to become a unique, new age technology company, we need to boldly embrace data and AI to become better at decision making and resource utilization. In the era of digital platforms, data has become a new factor of production along with talent and money. We need to be at the forefront of using data with AI as an enabler for achieving quantum jump in productivity and efficiency. All our growth engines of reliance, digital services, green and bioenergy, retail and consumer brands, O2C and materials business, and health and life sciences will have to complete this transformation by the time we meet next year. Further, we should accelerate our efforts to become a pioneer in developing AI to address at scale India's urgent national priorities in education, healthcare, agriculture and employment creation. Second, about talent enrichment. In order to make Reliance an AI immersive tech company, we need to further build the necessary talent, skill sets, and competencies at all levels within our organization. We should expand and deepen our talent pool to be amongst the best in the world. Investment in talent brings higher returns than investment in machines. Therefore, let us execute talent enrichment at all levels in Reliance on a mission mode, on a project mode, the way we always do and do so well. Third, about our institutional culture. I am extremely proud of our culture. The most important tenet of Reliance's institutional culture is to work with the founder's mindset. It means working with the ownership mindset. Each and every one of you becomes an owner of Reliance when you own the founder's purpose and passion. I am so happy to see that all our young colleagues in the 30 plus age group have been working with the same enthusiasm and determination to succeed which our founder and his colleagues had at the inception of Reliance. I also deeply appreciate that all the senior and middle level leaders in Reliance are now discharging their responsibility of trusting the young, empowering the young, mentoring the young, young leaders will commit mistakes. That's for sure. But my advice to them is simple. Do not waste your energy on conducting a post-mortem on past mistakes. Rather, learn not to repeat the same mistakes. More importantly, be bold, courageous and adventurous in pursuing your present and future goals. In doing so, always support one another for what we can achieve together is always immensely greater than what one can achieve individually and in isolation. There are also fewer chances of committing mistakes when we work together. At a time when Reliance is undergoing a generational transition, I attach immense importance 
to further strengthening this unique institutional culture. Here is yet another principle we must follow. We must keep reliance forever young by ensuring the average age of all our talented teams remains in the 30s. Let me reiterate, the future of reliance belongs to Akash, Isha, Anant and their generation. I have no doubt that they will achieve more in life and bring more achievements to reliance than people of my generation. My dear colleagues, on this auspicious day, let us take a pledge. We will never stop dreaming. We will never stop believing in our dreams, both individual dreams and institutional dreams. And we will never stop chasing them with positivity, discipline, resolve, confidence, hard work and mutual support. At Reliance, we do not have bondages of the past. We face and embrace the future boldly because Dhirbhai's life has taught us one thing. Keep the faith and nothing will be impossible. Keep shining, keep smiling. Let us together build on our fine tradition of making Reliance a happy family, a caring family and a super creative family. 2023 was a great year for India and for Reliance. 2024 will be even better. Therefore, celebrate, have fun, make merry. I am joined by my mother Kokila Ben, Nita, Isha and Anand, Akash and Shloka, Anant and Radhika, Prithvi and Veda, Adya and Krishna, in wishing a glorious and happy new year to all of you and all your loved ones in your families. May Lord Krishna bless Reliance and bless us all. Thank you.